Hi, good evening. Lo bueno es que se enciende súper rápido. In less than one minute. Ay, pero I'm sorry, no sé qué, qué pasa. Voy a revisarle el fin de semana. Porque sí se apaga cuando la pongo a carga. Hi, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Hi, Galileo. Blanca, Ana. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Good? Hi, nice Galileo. To see the same, Galileo. How was your day at work? Good. Very okay. hard, but mm -hmm. I am feeling good. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the attitude. Sometimes there are difficult, there are difficult days or full of activities, yeah. right? It happens. Yeah, a, a lot of work, but, but uh, that's where I come in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. Uh, so that way we can continue with the class. Okay. Um, October 14th. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Lilian. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian Javier. Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Then Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo. Present, ma. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. María Elena. María Ivania, Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco, thank you, Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, present, um, okay, Zaira Larín, Wendy Zabaleta, present, okay. Jenny Santos, present, okay, thank you, Cristian Ernesto, Present, Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Ah, okay. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Okay. Present, well, teacher. Ah, thank you. Teacher. Ah, pensé que era Mayra. Lily. Yes, Lily. Lily, teacher. Soy Lily. 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 Sí, teacher. Es que... Le iba a decir antes de, yes, de que sorry. se saliera la, la sesión de que tengo problemas con la conexión. Por eso ayer ah. me salí, ahorita está bien inestable, se cae. Entonces, si me salgo y entro es por eso. Ah, ok, Lili. Thank you for letting me know. Ajá. No problem. Y, y ahí póngame presente porque sí. <risa> yes. Cuando me okay. no, no, pero ya. Yes, uh, I did. Ok, yes, I'm going to add that here. Okay, so we're going to start with one activity. Please think about one occupation. Think about one occupation or one profession. Choose, escojan. Choose one occupation or one profession. I'm going to give you a moment to think about it. Escojan una profesión u ocupación. Les voy a dar un momento para que la escojan. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, let me see. We will start with Carlos. Carlos, can you send me a, a private message with your occupation? Send me a private message with the occupation that you selected. Okay. Okay. But a private. Y ese fue público, Carlos. Let's try with Galileo. Galileo, send me a private message. I want to know your secret occupation. Lo voy a cambiar entonces. Uh -huh, please, yes. Okay, thank you. 
So now, here you have some questions. The idea is that we have to try to find out or discover Galileo's occupation, okay? Try to discover Galileo's occupation or profession by asking him different questions. Vamos a tratar de encontrar la ocupación de Galileo. Here you have an idea of different questions you can ask. Hay diferentes preguntas que le pueden hacer. Y siempre para que vean la estructura de simple present in the form of a question. Okay, so we will start with Ana. Ana, can you ask Galileo a question, please? Uh, do you work with many people? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, Carlos, and try to try to um, retain the information. Oh, yo le, uh, Carlos también, teacher, perdón. No, no, just no yo, 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 yo hago una pregunta, la estoy eligiendo. Okay. If do you, you want to do, do uh -huh. you do you see it at at address? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Lily, more questions. If you have the idea, you can say it. Si ya saben que cuál sería, you can say the occupation. Teacher. Yes. There are people know who is my occupation, so... But uh, the idea was to choose a random, a random profession. They didn't know okay. that it was yours. Okay. But now you, I think that you just revealed your identity, Galileo. I got okay. it. <laughs> okay, la idea es que escojan cualquier, cualquier tipo de profesión, okay? No, no tiene que ser necesaria la de ustedes, ¿verdad? Sino cualquiera. Y sus compañeros van a hacer preguntas para ver si descubren esa occupation. Por ejemplo, si Carlos era teacher y le hacen preguntas, él va a contestar acorde a esa profesión. Yes. So that's the way it works. Let's try with Wendy. Wendy, um, can you send me your profession okay. by chat? Okay. Private message, Wendy. Okay. And here you have the ideas, but if you want to, you can ask your own questions. Okay, Wendy, thank you. Jenny, can you ask a question, please? We're trying to discover Wendy's occupation. Pueden ser solo estas o puedo hacer una pregunta propia. Ajá, you can ask a personal question. Eh, por ejemplo, do you you oh, use a computer? Mm -hmm. At work. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Yes, she does. Thank you. Blanca, other ideas? One question for Wendy. Secretary? Uh -huh, that's the one, Jenny. Oh. How did you discover it so fast? Right my mind. Uh -huh. That's the one. She, she uh, selected secretary. Well, okay, let's try with Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos, ya tiene su occupation, ¿verdad? In, in mine. Yes, okay, yes, let's try with Juan Carlos. Oscar, can you ask Juan Carlos a question? You have some ideas here. Okay, Juan Carlos, in your job, do you smile very much? Yes. Okay, thank you. Other questions? Uh, Ellie? Do you like your job? Yes. 
Okay. Um, other questions, Christian? Or Juan Carlos? Teacher is public. Okay. Um... No, that is a message from Lily, not Juan oh, Carlos. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, is your job fun? Fun? Yes. Mm, okay. No, I don't know. No ideas yet. Brian? No, no idea. Okay. One question for Juan Carlos. Mm. Is your job difficult? No. No. Okay. Carlos or Galileo, one question for Juan Carlos. Me, me. Mm -hmm. Do you work inside? Uh huh. Like inside a place, Juan Carlos. Like in an office or inside no. a building. No. No. He, he doesn't. Okay. Yes, Galileo. What is your question? Do you, have, do you have to wear a uniform for your job? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are a seller? Which one? No, not seller. Not a seller. I'm not seller. Okay. okay. Arnoldo, question for Juan Carlos. We're trying to discover his secret occupation. Do you drive in your job? Nope. No. Okay. Laura? Occupation. Eh, police, pol, police, pol, policia. Poli, ah, police, 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 No. no. You are a, you no. are a clown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. So remember that is the structure we use when we ask yes, no questions, right? Do you, and then you choose the verb that you need. We will continue working. We will continue working in, in simple present. We need more practice. And today we start unit number three, unit number three. So we are right in the middle of our level. This level or well, this unit is about human resources. I'm just going to go to the right page. Uh, unit number three. We're going to study a little bit more about the human resources. Okay, so it's gonna be page 29. That's the one that we will start with, page 29. Guys, please make a list, make a list of the things you know about human resources department. Tell me things that you know. Make a list of the information and send it to me. Send it to me by chat. Send it to me by chat or on WhatsApp if you want. Okay, hagan una lista. Les voy a dar unos dos minutos para que me escriban todo lo que ustedes conocen de human resources. Usually, En inglés solo se le llama HR. Human resources, yes, but mostly HR. And it's easier. Hasta es más fácil, right? Okay, so one list. Two minutes. By chat or in notebook? In the chat, because that way I can read. Uh, yo, yo lo ah, okay. Veo. Mm -hmm.
Okay, time's up. Let's check. Anna, let's begin with you. Can you read the list, the list of information you know about human resources? Only what you have, lo que tenga. What you have, it's okay. Is, um, is, uh, we are one the shares, the new talents, um, aprendizaje, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Aprendizaje. Sí. Learning. Uh, learning, the humans, y contractación, contraction, the recurse, the new talents in different areas. Okay, Anna, thank you for your comment. Lily and you, what is your list? Um, recruit the people mm -hmm. and um, como podría decir? <laughs> uh, if that is only what you have, that's okay. Si solo eso tenía, está bien, Lili. And make effective of staff. What do you mean? Uh, que, eh, bueno, en el caso, eh, contratan, es, eh, seleccionan el personal a contratar y, y también se encargan de que este sea efectivo con sus funciones. Ah, ok. Ya vamos a llegar ahí, Lili, y le voy a dar esa info. But thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for your comment. Good Blanca. evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome to the class. Say Te agarro la noche, teacher. <laughs> Más vale tarde que nunca. It's better, it's better late than never. <laughs> so, yes, Blanca, what is your... Ah, ok. They are the ones who uh -huh. interview... The new staff. Okay, eso Blanca. Lo Thank you. Solo ese hecho. It's, it's okay. Let's continue with Brian. What is your comment, Brian? And they are in charge of internal problems. Okay. And let's listen to Ellie. Interview. Teacher, yo como no sé qué hacen ellos, solo puse interview people y her staff. Ok, thank you. But you're in the right place. Esta va a ser una clase de human resources in English, Ellie. Así que al final de estos días, <laughs> you're going to know a lot, a lot about human resources and vocabulary, ok, about that area. Okay, Eli, thank you. I read the messages and uh -huh, some people say, Arnoldo says they hired new employees, they interview new employees, they take notes, uh -huh, Christia, they have, they coordinate the administrative functions. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Jenny, uh -huh, good comments. Let's continue, okay, let's continue. You already have some information about HR. Yo sé que tienen ya, ¿verdad?, algún knowledge, ya algo de conocimiento sobre él. Lo que vamos a hacer es practicarlo más in English. That is what we're going to study and speaking. Okay, that is what we will be doing. We will continue in this moment with the conversation, okay? We will listen to the conversation between Mr. Chang and Dorian. It says, Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, basically, she provides recruiting, administrative support, for the team of recruiters. I will say it again. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand 
And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. I'm going to say it one more time, one more time. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Now it's your turn. We will begin with Carlos and Galileo. Carlos, you are Mr. Chang, and Galileo, you are Dorian. Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And and could. Uh, you tell me about the her responsibilities. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Miss 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 Salgado, no Miss or Mister Mister Mister, excuse me. I understand. And does Mister Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Carlos and Galileo. Maybe this one, um, say it again, rich. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the way it sounds, rich. rich. Thank you. Now, Rodrigo and Laura. Rodrigo, you are Mr. Chen this time. And Laura, you are Dorian. Okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Ms. Chavez. Can you tell me who is she is? Sure. She is, she is the recruit, recruitment coordinator. I see. How could you tell me about her responsibility? Basically, basically she mo mo provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruit recruiter. I understand. I asked Mr. Salgado for here. What do he do? Yes, Matthew Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where well, I can reach him. He returns at one o'clock. Okay, thank you, Laura and Rodrigo. Okay. I'm going to help you a little bit, okay, just with some words. Okay, okay this one here, Laura, is sure. Sure. Uh huh. Recruitment. Re recruit. Recruitment. Uh -huh. Recruitment. Three, three sounds. Re recruitment. Recruitment. Mm -hmm. Recruitment. Okay. okay. Basically. Basically. Mm -hmm. Basically. Basically. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. And the one here, uh, Rodrigo, you can say das. That is the. Das. Uh -huh. That's the right way to say it. Das. das. Do. Okay. Correct. Thank you, Laura das, and Rodrigo. Okay. Is Alfonso here? Alfonso? No, he's not here in this moment, right? Okay, Maria Concepcion and Ivania. Maria Concepcion, you are Mr. Cheng, and Ivania, you are Dorian. Okay. Okay. 
Excuse me, I am looking for Miss. Sure. Ah, okay. sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see, and could you tell me about your response? Basically, she is proving recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiting. I understand, and that's Mr. Salgado was here. What that? Yes, Matthew Salgado. He is the talent manager consulting. I think Maria Concepcion is having its problems with the connection. Um, Ivania? Uh -huh. yeah. He returns at one o'clock. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to help you with some words. Okay, the one you see here is basically. Can you say it one more time? Basically. Recruiters. 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 Mm -hmm. Consultant. Consultant. Uh -huh. Returns. 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 Yes. Thank you, Ivania and Maria Concepcion. Now let's go with Nelson and Omar. Nelson, you are Mr. Cheng and Omar, you are Dorian. Hello. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. Actually, and could you tell me tell me about her responsibilities? But exactly. She provides recruitment administrate support for the team or recruit them. I understand. And does, and does Mr. Salgado go here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consul. Where can, can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, thank you, Omar and Nelson. I will help you with the pronunciation of some words. Okay, the one here, Omar, is basically. Can you say it again? Basically. Provides. Provide. Mm -hmm. Recruiting. 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 Uh -huh. Recruiting. And this one is recruiters. Recruited. Uh -huh. Okay, one more time, Omar. Number one. But see. Pay. Basically. 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 Mm -hmm. Provides. Uh -huh. Recruiting. Recruiter. Recruiters. Yes. Recruiter. Thank you. Let's try, Nelson. Please repeat. Oh, yes. Okay. Number one. Number one. Uh, excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Sorry, Nelson. Here. Donde dice basically. Ah, Solo las están sorry. marcadas. Mm -hmm. Ah, aquí estoy viendo mi pantalla. Perdóneme, perdóneme, mm -hmm. que no estaba viendo la suya. En <laughs> Dorian, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Basically, uh -huh. she plays recruiting. Ok. Solo las que están en rosadito. Basically, okay. provide. Basically, provides. Uh -huh. Recruiters. Uh -huh. Recruiters. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Sounds better. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me read this again. We will continue with Oscar and Zaira. Please help us with question number one. And guys, remember that if you want to, you can also send me your opinion by chat about question number one. So let's begin with Zaira. Who is Miss Chavez, Zaira? Who is she? Um, who is the, uh, uh, what is the teacher? <laughs> yes. Okay, we can wait. Um, she's the recruit, recruitment coordinator. Recruitment, yes, recruitment. coordinator. Thank you, Saira. And uh, Oscar, what do you think? Do you agree or do you have a different opinion? No, it's the same opinion. The same. Uh -huh. So you are right. Miss Chavez is the recruitment coordinator. Okay, question number two. What do you think Mr. Cheng does, Wendy? What do you think Mr. Cheng does? And then we listen to Jenny. Okay, the same question, Jenny and Wendy. What do you think Mr. Cheng does? What do you think Mr. Cheng does? Mm -hmm. Eso no está en el texto, ¿verdad, teacher? O sea, mm, teacher, es que no entiendo si es la respuesta. Es esa trap, es esa trap. Ok. He is a, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Como un... Employee. Future employee. O, mm. ajá, future employee. For you is an employee. Okay. Yeah. Teacher is a person, maybe is a person the interview. But, uh, an interview. Uh-huh. Yes, okay. It's a question for two people. <laughs> okay, okay. We will check. Yes, Arnoldo, do you have a comment? The question is a personal. The question uh -huh. says, what do you think? Correct. Everyone, yes. everyone can think uh, very possibility. In my case, I think that he is a human resource management. He is from that department. Okay. What do you think that? Why do you think that, uh, Arnoldo? What? Why? ¿Por qué piensa eso? Why do you think that? He knows the responsibility of Miss Chavez and Mr. Delgado. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe he maybe he is her, uh, uh, the the boss. So uh -huh. the, yes, the boss he, he knows everyone. a lot, right? I imagine that this is this is Mr. Cheng. So yes, it's not there. No estaba ahí. Yes, Wendy. No, for me is a new employee or um, ¿sí? el entrevistado. El entrevistado. The interview. Mm -hmm. Yes, but no. Well. He is receiving questions, sí, pero he, he works in that area, in that Teacher. company. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, Teacher. Al, al, al inicio de la, co, de la conversación, eh, mm -hmm. say is Mr. Chen is looking for to employee in the 
RRC Company. Mr. Cheng. Ah, no, he's... pero arri arriba, arriba de, del text, arriba de toda la conversación. <laughs> ah, ajá. Uh -huh. He's looking for two employees. Pero es external in the company o ah, okay. solo busca uh -huh. o solo busca a person. Ah, ok. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. ok, good It's point. external. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. he's, ok, Wendy, so you were right. Ajá, uh -huh. you said that he didn't work there, right? Yes, it says Mr. Cheng is looking for two. But maybe, well, I don't know if he will work there and maybe in a different area. But okay, okay. yeah, it's a little bit personal. Okay. As Arnoldo mentioned, we could have different perspectives about his occupation. Okay, thank you. Thank you very well. I'm going to share with you a video. Les voy a compartir un link. Just hold on. Um, okay, this link. Is a, it's going to be about human resources, about why this area is important. Es sobre por qué esta área es importante. Please watch the video. No sé si quieren verlo two times or only one time. Dura three minutes. Así que, ¿qué prefieren? One time or two times? Así yo llevo aquí el tiempo. Two, two, two times. Two. Vaya, two times. Ok. Eh, manden un mensaje que diga finish cuando ya lo hayan visto. And then we continue. Teacher, me voy a levantar un momento. Give me a moment, please. Yes. Thank you. Teacher. Ajá. Please share the picture in WhatsApp. Eh, sorry, link. Mm -hmm.
Ready? Okay. So let's try, let's try to talk about the video. Okay. We will talk or discuss the video. This is the question. Um, Why is human resources management an important part of the company? I would like you to try to answer this question. Create a little paragraph. Les voy a dar maybe three minutes to organize your thoughts. Organicen sus ideas. Tell me what you understood. Y traten de decirme lo que entendieron. To answer the question here, and I will listen to some of you. Voy a escuchar algunos de ustedes, and I'll ask you more questions. But try to answer this question. Quiero que traten de contestar esta pregunta in English. Why is human resources management an important part of a company? Okay. You can send it by chat. Send your paragraph by chat. Three minutes. Okay, we start with Christian. Okay, Christian, can you give me a little comment about why human resources management is important based on the video? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, 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 it's important um, because um, uh, bueno, yo escribí una parte, lo voy a decir uh -huh. en inglés. Okay, yes, okay. please. Okay. Um, because um, uh, they are build a good thing of working professional. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christian, that's correct. Do you have more? Tiene más or is that it? Is that it? That's it. Okay, thank you for your effort, Christian. And it's it's okay. true. Let's listen to Arnoldo. Arnoldo, why is it important? Um, can you read? Can you read the paragraph, Arnoldo? 
for the class, please. Human resource management is very important in the organization, more powerful in development itself, standard and success, assuring employee satisfaction, improving performance and productivity, organization competitive, competitive advantage, start to vision, high competitive workforce, decide about tangible and intangible resources and make some question for where to get, how to get, how to manage efficiently and what modification requires. And he, is, uh, he can the responsibility and take the challenge also sensibility, global change challenge and technology Challenge. This is the some important thing that I write in the in the video. Thank you, Arnoldo. Very detailed. Okay, Arnoldo. Thank you. Let's listen to Juan Carlos now. Juan Carlos, why is it important in your personal opinion, or based on the video? Because it make a. ¿Cómo se llama esto? Quise entender esa parte donde decía los tres eh, challenge. Uh -huh. y creo que es la parte un poco más importante de, de, del por qué es o, o por qué se hicieron en recurso humano. Uh -huh. y para llegar a los tres puntos que era la tecnología, eh, de, eh, el, los cambios globales y la otra de la sostenibilidad en el tiempo. Uh -huh. Ajá, correcto. Pero no logré entender la parte esa donde decía, o sea, qué es lo que decía realmente eh, esa parte cuando dice que es importante, por qué es importante el recurso humano. Ah, ok, ok. And did you create a paragraph, Juan Carlos? Creó un párrafo. In... No, porque quise entender esa parte. Ah, ok, ok, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Mayra, can you read your comment? about the video? Me escucha, Ticha. Yes. Sí. Ah, va. Me salió algo que decía que me había silenciado. Ah, no, but I hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, because it is a fundamental basis for the company is help in many ways. For example, it motivates employees and the development of the company. Okay, Mayra, thank you. Good job. Okay, now question for Anna. Okay, Anna, could you listen to the benefits? Did you listen to some benefits? Escuchó algunos beneficios de este departamento, Anna? Do you remember? Um, benefits, uh -huh. benefits. Um, so this would complete with the other two guy competence, advance, and also with some tablings. Advance? Influence and encourage to reach organizations the goals. And improving perform in the pro, in, I'm sorry. Are surely employee dissatisfaction? Uh -huh. Employee satisfaction, yes. They try, right? They try to make uh, employees feel good so they can, they can perform in a good way. Thank you, Anna. And you, Lily, can you explain benefits or things they do here? Lily, 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 no. Yeah, okay. uh, ah, Lily. <laughs> Es que no la encontraba, I didn't find you. Yes, Lily. Benefits. Uh, or if you want to, you can think about it. Si quiere, piénselo más. Organize your thoughts and let me know when you're ready. Me avisa cuando ya tenga ahí su idea. Ok, 
anyone is there anyone who heard some some benefits about the activities they do why is their job so important yes galileo uh, human resource is really important in the organization uh, because the company can be more strong and obtain more powerful and develop standard and success, assuring employee satisfaction, satisfaction mm -hmm. and improving performance and uh -huh. productivity. The human okay. resource must to take careful to hire better people in better jobs. The human resource is indispensable to achieve success to the organization. Yes, uh -huh. so they try to have happy employees, right? If the employees are happy, the company works better. If the employees are sad or angry, the company goes down, right? So yeah. HR tries to have the employees satisfied. And they mention that they hire the right people. They make sure they hire the right people. Hablaba de que se aseguran de contratar a las personas adecuadas para el trabajo. They try to hire the right people. Okay, and thank you for sending it by chat. Yo los, los leeré when we finish the class. Okay, thank you for sending them. Let me check. Uh -huh. I have some, some of those here. Do you have questions about the video? I don't know if there is something you wanted to ask. And sorry, I didn't ask you about the, the conversation. No sé si querían saber algo de, de la conversation. I forgot to ask. Había algo aquí, acá that you wanted to know. No sé si se quedaron con alguna duda sobre la conversation o no. No, okay. I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue with the second part of the class. Okay, so let me start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Brian Javier. Present. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Luis Alfonso. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Elena. Eh, Maria Ivania. Present teacher. Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you, Omar. Eh, let's continue with Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira. Margeri. Present teacher. Thank you, Zaira. Wendy Maribel. Present. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Okay. Cristian Ernesto. Present Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Jose Jonathan. No. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. And Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Mayra. So, uh, and yes, yes, Elena, I added you here. Let me see. Lily, do you have your comment before we continue? No sé si pensó en su comment, Lily, antes que sigamos. Mm, sí. Eh, organization and developing the itself and successful employees satisfaction. Mm -hmm. uh, be improving performa performance performance product productivity productivity <laughs> thank you lily thank you for your comment okay guys so here you have hr vocabulary if you want to i can send it to you 
in the group okay if you want to have it i can send it in the whatsapp group in case you want to have it there but i'm going to provide you with some vocabulary les voy a dar un, un poquito ahorita de vocabulario sobre hr and you have the english definition okay tenemos the english definition of the word vamos a tratar de hacerlo así y si quedan dudas yo les digo in spanish so we start with absence. That is the, the pronunciation, absence. Can you read the, the explanation, Blanca? The, the definition, the meaning. Voy a agrandar quizás las palabras. So you can look at it better. Blanca, just activate the microphone. ¿Qué significa esta palabra? Ajá, que, que si puede leer no, la definición, no. please. Aquí está ah, okay. la definición. Eh, este palito no sé cómo se dice. No, eso no, solo de okay. aquí. A period. Eh, a period of time when someone is not present, present at a place, go. Ajá. Y, y, Etc. Etc. Ok, Blanca, thank you. This is the definition. Lo que ven ahí en tiny words, en pequeñas letras, es su definición in English. So, a period of time when a person is not present in their job. What is it? ¿Qué entienden que es entonces absence? Ausencia. Ausencia. Correct. Let's go with number two. Let's continue with the next one. This is apply. That is the, the pronunciation, apply. Can you read it, Brian? The definition of apply. Brian, are you there? Put yourself forward as a candidate for a job. Okay, thank you. It's a verb. Si ven que tiene una V, es porque es un verb, es un verbo. Si ven que tiene una N, es porque es un noun. Así como un sujeto, un subject. No es un verbo, it's, un, it's a noun. Okay, so apply. What is the idea that you get? A candidate. Apl aplicar. Ajá, uh -huh. that would be the meaning of apply. You apply for a job. I'm going to apply in Pollo Campero. Apply in Claro. Okay, you apply for jobs. This is the verb. And then we have performance or performance appraisal. That is the, the pronunciation, performance appraisal. Carlos, can you read the definition, please? A mirror in which and employees dis dis discourses discusses discusses his or her progress objects and need as well with his or her manager uh -huh. thank you so it's a meeting a meeting in which an employee discusses her progress what is that in that case? What do you think it's appraisal? Do you have an idea? What could it be? Appraisal. They discuss, the company discusses your progress and what you need. Mm, supervisor. Ajá, pero cuando tienen esa meeting para hablar sobre Eli, de cómo va progresando Eli, ¿Cómo se llamaría esa meeting? Do you have an idea? Carlos? Es evaluación. Ajá, como una evaluación. Una evaluación de desempeño. Ajá, podríamos llamarle así. So it's called appraisal. Es una meeting, ok, para discutir su progreso o cómo van. Ok, then we have briefing. That is the pronunciation of the next one. Briefing. 
Ellie, can you can you read the definition? Okay, something happened. Wait. I mean, wait, wait. Algo pasa. So I don't know why it's a lot of times here. Creo que it's a computer problem. Okay, hold on. Vamos a ver si lo puedo arreglar. I don't know what happened. Let me double check. Uh -huh. I copy. Ah? Okay, hold on. I copy my notebook. And the move, same. Move, move. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Se estaba repitiendo. The same, the same word. I don't know what happened. Se me borraron todas. Okay. Okay, well, in that case, let's let's continue with the ones we have here. Porque todo está lo mismo. Okay, so, íbamos en, en briefing, right? One moment. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to zoom it in. Hay muchas, todas, <laughs> different options for you to read it, Melly. Mm, briefing. Ah. Uh, a meaning for giving information or instruction instruction mm, uh -huh. briefing a meeting uh, only one for only one time uh -huh. es la misma Eli ajá se repitió I don't know what happened okay so briefing a meeting in which you give information and instructions what is that what do you understand that is A reunión informativa. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's a briefing. Si decimos, we are going to have a briefing at work, es una meeting just to give information and instructions. Okay. And then we have incentive. That's the word we have, incentive. Can you help me with this one, Brian? Incentive. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Can you can you read it, please? Incentive. Mm -hmm. Something which encourage or motivate a person to do something. Uh huh. Something that you give, like a benefit, right? A benefit, something you give to the employee. It's very sim similar to the one we have in Spanish. Incentive. Are we okay with that one? Or do you have questions? No, no questions. Okay, then we have higher. I'm going to tell you what it means over here. To give a job to a person. To give a job to a person that is hired. To give a job to a person. And the opposite, the opposite is fired, fired. What is the meaning to remove someone from the company? Hired, you give the job to this person. Fired, you remove this person from the company. So do we understand fire and hire? Yes, Jenny, you do. And yes, you guys? Questions, Maria Concepcion or Laura? Sobre hire and fire? <laughs> eh, hire, entiendo que es con, contratar. Uh -huh. Fire, aunque es como por decir jue, juego, este aquí cuando es en relación de trabajo sería despido. Correct. No. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Así es. Si le dicen you are fired, lo están despidiendo. No es que se, sea fuego. Despedida, right? ok. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. you are fired. And I'm sorry, no sé qué habrá pasado con el document, tenía muchas más. Pero se las debo, se las voy a tratar de mandar en el grupo. So you can have more, more vocabulary. Ok, the idea was the following. With the words you have, you have to create sentences. Okay, you're going to work in groups of three, 
and create one sentence per word. Van a, a trabajar en grupos y van a, a crear una oración. Una o dos oraciones por cada palabra. Creo que tienen como five, ¿verdad? One, two, three, four, six. Six or seven. Seven words. Make sentences. In present tense. Las vamos a hacer en present tense. Y recuérdense, si es he, she, or it, remember the S. Okay. Do you have questions? Do you have questions for me? No, no questions. ¿Cuáles vale palabras, teacher? Ese de, documento que acabamos de document. leer. Ajá. Y no lo va a mandar, o ya lo mandó. Yes, I will send it to you. Uh -huh. I will send it to you in the group. Any other Gracias. questions? No. Okay, so let me create the rooms. And you're going to receive the invite in a moment. Teacher, no le pude dar enter. Teacher, no, Ajá. solo salió y, y se, se Ah, ok. And now, can you see it? Yes. Se la envío. Ella no envió las palabras, ¿verdad? No, estoy arreglándolo, es que ya lo estaba ah, no. modificando porque no sé Ahí por qué se arruinó. Ah, aquí me comí una en, en accent. Es accent, accent se escribe. Es que las escribí, pero a la carrera, teacher. Ah, ok, no las tienen, entonces, todas. Eh, ¿Cómo no? Las escribí las siete, pero... La A le falta de, al, al inicio, Ana Elizabeth. Mm. Okay, ah, so Alcense. Los... Apply, appraisal, briefing, incentive, high five. Aquí lo tengo okay. ya. Ah, ok, para asegurarnos cómo están bien escritas. Mm -hmm. Yo lo escribí a la carrera en el cuaderno. Yes, sorry. Sí, no sé por qué se puso yeah. así. But right now it's loading. Ya está ahí cargando y ya casi va a caer. Ok. Ok, teacher. Vaya, si gustan, tomamos dos por dos para terminarlas. La teacher, ¿cuánto tiempo nos va a dar? Mm, I don't know. 
I don't know, <laughs> pero re, recuerden lo de siempre lo que estamos trabajando, ¿verdad? Es simple present. Present, present, uh -huh. Uh -huh. present simple. Y simple. traten ajá, de hacerla sobre algo que tenga que ver con uh -huh. HR. Con, oh. con el trabajo, con, ajá. Un, con una compañía. Con lo que estamos viendo, ajá. Okay. Así como que, bueno, que digamos, the employees or employees apply in Pollo Campero every, every Monday. O sea, la idea es que lo apliquen, ¿verdad? En una sentence, uh -huh. en simple press. Podría ser alguna como the professor o the teacher notáis a uh, Andrea's accents on the day. Um, ah, no, pero sería como Pero en compañía, simple, ¿verdad? pero ajá, que sea ah, con simple sí, press. Ajá, notice, ajá, sí, simple press. Okay. Ajá. Okay, I'm Vamos going to stay with you a moment. And okay. okay. If necessary, I'll give you feedback. But if not, you can continue. Could you open the document? Si pudieron abrirlo. Yes. Ah, okay. It's fixed. Ya está arreglado. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Laura, ¿cuál agarraría usted y él? Como quiere dos, dos oraciones por cada uno. No sé si las dos primeras o las dos últimas. <laughs> Hi, I sent the document in the group. Did you receive it? Yes. I yes. fixed it. Ya lo arreglé. It's, it's done. It's fixed. Y ahora que ya lo arregló, sería una por cada palabra. Just the ones we mentioned. Pueden siempre hacerlas con las que hablamos. Ah, ya cuando perfecto. estemos, yo, yo les ayudo. Pero si quieren utilizar otra, you can do it. You can try. Ay, ok. Perdón. Salud. Gracias. Do you need help? No. Por ejemplo... Uh -huh. Yes, María Concepción. <laughs> eh, eh, performance se podría hacer así como cheese and excellent employee. Con performance. Yes. Pero ¿dónde la estarías utilizando, María Concepción? Dentro de la oración. Dentro de la oración. Ajá, porque la idea es que la oración contenga la palabra. Ah, que la contenga. Ajá. Ah, ok. For example, como, como eso es performance appraisal, ¿verdad? Y la idea es formar una oración. Y es una meeting. Yo podría decir, the performance appraisal starts at 8 a.m. on Mondays. Pero esa ya no la puedes utilizar. Tiene, tiene copyright, ah, sí. <laughs> pero es una idea, como que, okay. que okay. la meeting comienza a las 8, ¿verdad? Porque es una meeting okay. que se llama appraisal, performance appraisal. Ok, pero okay. sí, okay. use your imagination and try to create a sentence. Ok, teacher, thank you. <laughs> okay. More questions? No. Ok, remember this? ¿Se recuerdan si hablan de una persona? To put the S. Okay. Goodbye. It's, it's very well for the year. The appraisals about, about, about some necessities. About some some uh, office. What do you think, Carlos, Wendy? She appraisals about some office. 
es que he appraisal o, 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 o he is appraisal uh, is uh, really well for the this mm -hmm. year. Okay, please repeat, please. She yeah. applies on? Oh, Hi guys, she applies on? sorry to interrupt. Hi teacher. I, I want to give you feedback, ya que estoy con ustedes. I'm yeah. checking the sentence. Okay, performance appraisal is not a verb. El que yo les digo, performance appraisal. Es como mm -hmm. una meeting, right? Entonces, ahí yeah. veo que le están utilizando como un verb. Es como que, que utilicen la palabra meeting ahí. She is yeah. meeting. Entonces, ¿pueden yeah. utilizarlo? You can use yeah. it, but as a noun. An example. I'll give you an example. Porque recuerden que no es un verbo. Entonces, okay. quedaría algo así. Por ejemplo, de... Um, hold on. The performance. Performance. No. Performance. Appraisal. Starts at 8 a.m. on Mondays. On Mondays. This is just an idea. Como es una meeting, ¿verdad? Como que yo estoy hablando de la meeting. Entonces, yo estoy diciendo a la, que, a la hora yeah. que inicie. No a es una... Yeah. I'm sorry. Ajá. Entonces, les quería dar ese feedback. Que no lo utilicen como un verb. Como yeah. go work. Sino que como un noun. O que ah. él va para esa reunión. O él okay. está. Okay. Ah, so, ok. Changes. Ajá, utilicen como un, una meeting, ¿verdad? Pero que se llama performance appraisal. Okay. Y lo mismo con absence. Absence, eh, en este caso, no es un verbo. El verbo para ausente es absent. Pero absence es un noun. Es como decir Galileo, Carlos, Evelyn, es un noun. Sí, entonces tienen que hacer las oraciones un poquito distinto. ¿Sí? Um, like this, teacher. My boss is not come to the office. He was, bueno, que es presente, absent. Uh -huh. Siempre. Is absent. Eh, absent sería como el que está acá o sea el que está ustedes tienen es au, ausencia esa es como la palabra ausencia entonces ausente es el verbo pero la palabra que ustedes tienen no es, es ausentarse verdad sino no que es ausencia ausentar, ajá es ausencia entonces tienen que utilizarlo como un noun Okay. Yeah. Entonces, trabajen en absence y en appraisal. Apply, sí, porque apply es un verbo y hasta le pusieron lo de la S. That's perfect. Entonces, ese comment. Vean ahí cómo lo, lo piensan y luego vemos. Luego veo cómo las crearon, ¿ok? Pero sí okay. me entendieron. Sí me entienden yeah. porque... Ok. All right, yes, teacher. Perfect. I'll see you in a moment. Goodbye. Vieron muchos candidatos en la oficina de recursos humanos. Hi, hi Brian, Arnoldo y Nelson. Have you finished? No. no. Only Not five. Yet. Only five in this moment. Okay. And do you have the document? No sé si me podrían mostrar el document o lo, lo tienen en el notebook. En el notebook. Ah, okay. Okay. We are. Quería... We are we are poor person. <laughs> no say that. We all are. We all are. Okay, entonces voy a esperar a que terminen. And when you finish, send a message. Porque no han terminado sus classmates. Quería ver cómo iba. Do you have questions, Brian, Arnoldo, or Nelson? No. No, you're no. fine. Okay, all right. No. So in that case, I'm going to go. See you in a moment. Bye. Wow.
for different area. Teacher, teacher. Hi. Teacher, I have a question. Hmm? I, I, I don't understand the... Yo lo he puesto. I have an apparatus of my position. Entonces, no sé si es así porque uh -huh. uso you en presente. Yes, porque es como que dirías, I have a meeting for my position. Y en el otro, en el otro puse, I have a briefing with my boss. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yes, Eli, they are correct. Mm -hmm. O sea que depende, porque yo les mencionaba, ¿verdad? Algunos son verbos y algunas son mm -hmm. palabras. Ay, Ajá, como ah, un noun. Cierto. Ya, Ajá. Si es un verbo, Ajá. por ejemplo, apply es un verbo. Es como que tuvieran el verbo go. Cuando hacen Ajá, una oración okay. es como I go to the market. I apply for the job. Okay. Mm. Pero si es así como, por ejemplo, dog. Dog es un noun, es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Así como people. Entonces, el, el performance appraisal o el briefing es como como un complemento, ese. como ajá, un verbo antes de ese digamos ajá, para definir o sea, ese, no ese es el dicho. verbo correcto ah, okay. entonces okay. puede decir como él y lo dijo porque no lo tomó como un verbo sino como puede ser en el complemento o hablar del briefing como que terminó es el que... briefing ajá ya se mm. ah, no es, es que eso me confundí a mí porque unas sí son verbo, unas palabras. Ajá. Y, y esa de, de. Casi todas son, son nada. Ajá. Solo y esa, hay como dos. Y esas verbos. No eran verbo. Ajá. Solo está sí. resign y apply. Solo esos son los verbos. De ahí no hay ningún otro verbo. Entonces, absent tampoco sería un verbo. No podría ir como en medio. Absent. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Porque absent. Okay. El que yo les di es ausencia, pero ausente es el verbo, ¿verdad? Como que diga, Laura está ausente, ahí está el verbo. El verbo es absent, pero el que yo les di es absent. Entonces, no es un verbo. Entonces, cuando ya lo crean, no podría ir como un verbo, porque no es. It's not a verb. Yes, Laura. Sí. En tercera persona, en el apply, se cambia la Y por la IS. Así sería. Applies. Es un verbo. Ajá. Para ponerlo como para tercera persona, o sea, yo sé que es apply sin the company, the safety, o sea, una compañía de seguro aplicó, una compañía de seguro, así se escribiría. Eh, solo que por lo que escucho es past tense, Laura. Que él ah, aplicó, ¿verdad? Aplicó, ajá, si aplicar, así, ah, solo sin el, sin el if, ¿verdad? O sea, sí, sería yo hacer que sería apply. Como, sería como, I ajá. want to apply no, a new, no, a new ajá, word. Ajá, en present ah, tense. Pero si usted me dice uh -huh. aplicó, ahí ya nos cambiamos de tiempo. Y ya se ah, pasó okay. past tense. Solo Entonces que... Entonces sería ajá. como, yo sé que apply in the... Aplicar, pero aplicar a un nuevo, a un nuevo puesto de trabajo en The Company, algo así. Sí, por no eso lo que haga en que tercera lo persona. Uh -huh, no lo haga en tercera persona. <ríe> para que lo que haz más fácil. Para no complicarse la vida. Oh, ¿por ¿por está, del uso? Está bien. Ajá, el okay, uso de, de Simple Present lo pueden Ajá. utilizar para Plan Activities. ¿Por qué no poner okay. Employees? apply o podrían utilizar otra grammar que ya si ustedes quieren verdad otro tiempo employees apply apply in claro in the morning for a new position in the mornings como plan activities entonces depende verdad eso es lo que quería ver so Me ya check. terminaron todos acá ajá sí, oh, okay. is, y yo Quiero ver si están bien las mías. Tú ok, ya. My Ana, company. Yo solo my una. company here. No sé si se dice hero here, teacher. Hires, la de contratar. Hi. Hires. My company hiring the new, hiring the new one for different area. area. My company hires y luego. The new. Uh -huh. 
one for different area. ¿Qué quiere decir en el complement, Ana? Lo primero sí entiendo que la compañía eh, va a contratar o contrata. Para una, para una por diferentes áreas, o sea, un... Como una. ¿Una qué? A un nuevo, a un nuevo empleado. Ah, ok. Entonces podría ponerte, company hires one employee, one employee per, ah. per department, por departamento, ¿verdad? Per department. One employee per department or per area. Per, like that, ah. area. Yes. And, okay, y el otro sería, my partner has an incentive for achieving the goals. An incentive for achieving, uh -huh. mm -hmm. for achieving his goals or the goals. Yes, okay. that's correct. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay, in 50 seconds, we will be back. Okay, in 50 seconds, we will meet in the main room. Okay. See you in a moment. Yes. Welcome back. How did it go? Will you finish? We will check. We will check the sentences. Okay. ¿Quiénes lo han hecho en un document? Para que lo muestren en pantalla. Who have document? Solo Carlos. Carlos and his team. Galileo and Wendy. Okay. Well, let's. Ah, and Oscar. Oscar. Okay. So let's begin with Carlos. Carlos, Wendy, and Galileo. Can you display the sentences? Okay, could you read them, guys? Yes, three words, teacher. We have just three words. Absence. Uh, absence. Number one, I like when my boss is absent in the office or at the office. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, the absence of light is dangerous for the team production. Okay. Carlos, apply, uh, Carlos. Apply. Carlos applies for a new job this morning. Mm -hmm. Galileo applies in Papa Young's Pizza as a, log a logistic manager. Wendy, a price up, please. Carlos have good results in the performance, performance appraisal this month. Mm -hmm. The performance appraisal get take in the hotel this year, in the hotel this year. Okay, thank you. Don't remove it. Don't remove it, Carlos. I'm going to give you some feedback. Okay, number okay. number two is correct, the absence of light. But here, abs I like when my boss is absent. Uh, hold on. It will be absent in this case. I like when my boss is absent at the office. Que sería como el, el adjective. And mm. then apply eh, number one. No sé si me equivoco, parece estar en past tense. Carlos applies for a new job this morning. No sé si es como que él aplicó para un new job. Mm. No, teacher. Uh, we think, we think. Uh, we remove Y and I, I, E, S because it's simple present. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it sounds like past tense. Está bien, the structure is correct. Carlos applies for a new job. Maybe you can say every, every morning. Let's imagine that he doesn't have a job. Cada día está aplicando. So every morning he applies for a new job in different places. And Galileo applies in Papa John's. Uh -huh. 
that could be good. Number number one, we have good results. It's correct in the performance appraisal. Este es como toma lugar. Is that what you mean? The performance uh, appraisal. Yeah, yeah, we we try to say uh, he was evaluated by his boss and he take good results. But number two? Uh, the performance appraisal get taken, ah, okay. Get Who taken takes, is to, okay. to a lugar. To ah, in, in past tense, okay. In past tense took, took place in the hotel. It took place. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Took place. Took place. Okay. Thank you, Carlos, Wendy, and, and Galileo. You, so let's continue. Blanca, Blanca and, and your team, can you share the document, please? Ahí está, Blanquita. Okay. Pu puede leerla, no hay problema. <laughs> she had two days absence. 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 My job offering a bonus for incentive the employees. It's is HR is uh -huh. promoting staff Promo. a new vacancy. I I plan I plan a new job this year. They receive increased salary every year for incentive. She has the Briefly, one month in the beginning of the year in my company, I new person. In the finish the year in my company, five or person. Blanca, maybe appreciate this week for the new floor manager. Okay, Blanca, thank you for reading the sentences. I'm going to help you with some changes. The, when you use she, we have to use has. She has two days absent. She has two days absent. In the same year, she has. She has one, maybe you can say she has a monthly briefing a monthly a monthly briefing like this that will change like that in the beginning esta que dice acá in the beginning of the year se oye como past tense in the beginning of the year the company entonces tendríamos que utilizar el verbo en past tense que sería así hire new personnel Ajá. Y personal quedaría así. Personal. <laughs> and in the finish, you can say at the end of the year. At the end of the year, my company, no sé si sería futuro, future tense or past tense. Porque si estamos hablando de este year, sería future tense. Sí, or fue el last year. Last year, in the okay. year, last year, the okay. last year. So at the end of the year, my company, y tendríamos que usar fired. Así, in, in past tense, at the end of the year, my company fired all personnel. Okay. And Blanca, Blanca may have an appraisal performance this week. Serían esos changes that I will give you. But thank you, thank you very much for your 
sentences. Because of the time, los demás, please send me. Send me uh, uh, maybe the, the sentences by WhatsApp so I can read them there para seguir viendo qué tal las crearon los demás. But we're going better. Vamos mejorando. We're getting better at this. Send them to me by chat. And in the meantime, we continue with another activity. Okay. Vamos a continuar con la siguiente activity. But yes, the other groups, Anna's group, uh, Lily's group, then Mayra and Zaira, all of you, Juan Carlos, at least one, por lo menos un, un integrante, que me mande las, las, o oh, bueno, que algunos lo hicieron individual, right? Send me all the sentences and I will check them. Okay, so in the meantime, we continue here, okay? We are going to read information about the HR personnel. We have the recruitment coordinator, the benefit specialist, talent management consultant, and human resources generalist. Okay, we're going to uh, read the information. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, we will continue with Oscar. Oscar, can you read the information about the recruitment coordinator? The one you see here. Hello, hello, excuse me. I hear you. Mm -hmm. The information yes. about the recruitment coordinator. Okay. A recruit, recruitment coordinator, bachelor degree, organized chatter of candidate interview, open and post recruitment, coordinate internal and internet job posting, has a degree in a management, work with and support on recruiting team, has five years of experience, work on weekdays or a part time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Oscar. And now, Omar, can you read the next one, please? Benefit specialist. Okay, Bletcher degree develop a um, mining competitive progresses and productive compensation plant. Craig's cost effective benefit program to provide motivation and incentives and reward for effective performance. Work on weekday, part-time job, three years of experience in the position. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Oscar. They are correct. Uh, maybe, I'm sorry, it was Omar. <laughs> sorry, Omar. The one here is proactive, proactive comp compensation. That is the way you can, you can say those two, proactive compensation. Let's continue with the talent, talent management consultant. Zaira, can you read the information, please? Okay. Talent. Management. management consult bachelor degree responsible for leadership development career development assesses performance learning and development works on saturday full-time job one year for experience Thank you, Said. I'm going to help you with two words. Number one is career. That is the way we have to say this one. Career and assesses. Career assesses. Uh-huh, assesses. It's like career evaluate. Uh-huh, es okay. como evaluar, evaluate. The performance 
in, in that. Okay, thank you. And let's continue with Wendy. Wendy, can you read the one you have about human resources generalist? Generalist, okay. Bachelor, bachelor's degree mm -hmm. maintain, man, maintenance, 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 maintenance knowledge of legal re require, requirements, requirements, uh -huh. requirements, and government reporting regulations affecting human resource. Re response to inquiries, inquiries, uh -huh. inquiries, mm -hmm. in inquiries regarding police, no, policies, police, policies, procedure, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday, part time job. Five years of ex experience in similar positions. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, the one here is procedures. Procedures. Uh huh. Okay. Experience. Procedures. Experience. And the one here is experience. Yes. Experience. Okay. In this okay. activity, you are going to work with the same people. Okay. You're going to work with the same people you were working with. You have to answer three, three questions, okay? Number one, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Number two, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? And number three, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Okay, hay que contestar esas preguntas con, con respecto a lo que acaban de leer sus classmates. Van a trabajar siempre con el mismo team, with the same group. Do you have questions? Questions? No, it's clear. I will visit you in, in a moment. Okay. Christian. Okay, Christian, no tiene grupo, right? Ok, Cristian. Vamos a... Uh, are you there, Cristian? Yes, Miss. Oh, okay. uh, I just am um, to listener. Ah, because... es cierto. Yes, it's true. You told me, right? Yeah. You can't, you can't uh, work in this moment. In this moment, no, Miss. Sorry. Ah, okay. ok, no problem. Don't accept the invitation then. Ok, yes, thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. And then, aha, uh, Elena and Nelson. Nelson, if you hear me, I sent another invitation, Nelson. Okay, I sent Nelson there. Uh, okay, I'm going to go. Me voy a ir un ratito, Christian, a, a ver cómo van sus classmates. Okay, Miss. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a contestar estas preguntas con los... Bueno, que tenemos que sí. Dice, what does recruitment, recruitment coordinator do? Mm -hmm. Bachelor degree, five years experience, work. Sí, va, teacher. Sí. Uh, yes, Oscar. Prácticamente vamos a poner los requerimientos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, you yes. have to, to answer the questions. Uh -huh. Pasado en lo que leímos. Uh -huh. Okay. The three questions. The three questions is. Entonces no vamos a pasarlo de aquí, sino que lo vamos a como resumir. Uh -huh. O dar una idea. Ajá, es similar al que hicimos la, uh, yesterday. Hicimos uno de, de la hora, de what time does the manager do this, do that. Entonces the aquí tienen que, tienen que leerlo, ajá, y ver cuál sería la respuesta. 
Okay. Porque Pero hay un montón de información, ¿verdad? Nos pide nada más sobre el recruitment coordinator, ¿verdad? Let me see. Let me check one more time. The, the two question, recruitment coordinator, the spirit, recruitment coordinator on work, and recruitment coordinator do. See? Only recruitment uh -huh. coordinator. Okay. Yes. Okay. Es todo sobre el coordinator. Yes. Okay. The recruitment coordinator experience. What, the, what is the good? The, the experience. Que es parte de la experiencia, es parte de requisitos, pero lo que él va a llegar a hacer es esas tres cosas. Hi. Hi How are you doing, Ivania and Juan Carlos? Eh, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, and you, Ivania? I'm, I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Um, oh, only a question, teacher. Eh, what does mean? Uh, coordinates internet and internet job positions, postings. Uh, what does um, mean? Can you tell me where it is? Don't understand. Recruitment. Coordinator. Recruitment. Ah, look, esa palabra, recruitment coordinator. No, no, no. Uh, coordinates internet and internet job postings. Ah, what does that mean? Un job posting es como cuando, cuando dan a conocer que se necesita gente en el lugar. Y puede a veces ser algo interno o puede ser a veces como por medio de internet. Ah, ok. Entonces se coordina es como lo coordina. interno y, lo, y fuera de... Ajá, por medio de internet. De internet, ok. Uh -huh. Como la de Pumpo Trabajo. Ajá. Te coloco. Ajá, algo así, que se encargan de postearlo en diferentes lados para que le llegue a más gente. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Do you have more questions? Antes que los dé. No. Y hoy sí, hoy sí eh, cenó, Juan Carlos. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. <risa> ok. Ok, Juan Carlos. Well, Gracias, I'm tío. going to let you continue. Voy a ir a visitar a sus classmates. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Sí. Hi. For tomorrow. How are you doing? Tomorrow is activity. <laughs> no. In two minutes. Or two in minutes. one minute. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm running with this. Ah, okay. Cool. Trabajo tiempo parcial. What? The, what is recruiting? Es Yes. Two minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pasaron volando. <laughs> 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 uh, el Bayalor Degree. Una licenciatura. Experience. Ahí va, que, ahí va a perdonar y la otra <laughs> es. ¿Cuándo tiene que.? Trabajar todos los días, hasta los lunes, too. work, weekdays, part-time, anyway. <laughs> okay. 24-7, 24-7. Uh -huh. oh, yes. 24-7 es cajero automático. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Ahí sí, ahí se lo mando, compañeros. Thank you, mister. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I sent you. Bye, thank you. Bye. Yeah, no problem. Yes. Hello, welcome back. So let's check the answers. Let's check the answers that you got. Okay, so here we have the, the book and the questions. Okay, so 
um, Oscar, question number one. What does the recruitment coordinator do? He has a bachelor degree and, and he organizes a schedule of candidate interview to open and post requisition and coordinate internal and internal job posting. Mm, okay, thank you. There is one that we have to remove. Hay una que deberíamos quitar ahí. Vamos a, a, a double check. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Let's compare Zaira and you. What are the activities that the recruitment coordinator do? Zaira? Um, Jenny, what about you? Acá, acá, teacher. Perdón. Okay. Yes. Um, organize a schedule of candidate interview mm -hmm. and work coordinators internal and internet job posting mm -hmm. and work with and support and recruiting recruiting team. Mm -hmm. Correct. And this one. Those are the activities he does. Four activities. Questions about those? Esos deberíamos tener porque luego son como diplomas, right? He has some diplomas and information about his, his uh, experience. Okay, so four activities. Question number two. Can you help us with that one, Galileo? What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? He has five years of experience. Uh huh. Five years of experience. And <clears throat> if we check, this could be, well, those are diplomas he has, right? Okay, thank you, Galileo. And number three, can you help us with that one, Lily? When does the recruitment coordinator work? Le había puesto la anterior, la que dijo Galileo. En la última. Ajá. Ah, no. Esa era la segunda, Lili. Pero lo mira. Do you see it? Sí. No. Ajá. When does he work? Ay, es que estoy en duda. Ok, don't worry. Jenny, can you help her? What is the answer? Number three. Mm -hmm. When, uh -huh. uh, when does the recruitment coordinator work? When. When is. is when? Yeah. Cuando. Uh -huh. um, I know all of it, teacher. No, no but oh, okay. Who can no, help no, us? Who no. encontró? Mm. The... Me, teacher. Work I make the okay. words on weekday. Uh -huh. We uh -huh. work part time. Uh -huh. So from Monday so we to Friday, uh -huh. a part time job. Okay, thank you. So in this moment, before we go, Brian, are you going to stay with me? Se va a quedar, Brian. Solo estoy confirmando. Brian. Brian. No está Brian. Ya no está. Ah, okay. All right. So let me. Voy a tomar la asistencia y luego veo ahorita eso. So we go with Ana. Ana Beatriz. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Galileo. I'm here, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. 
Eh, María Concepción. María Elena. Thank you. María Ivania. Nelson Gabarrete. Thank you, Miss. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira, Marlene, and Wendy. Present Maribel. teacher. Yes. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Cristian Ernesto. Present Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. En Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Ok, thank you. Entonces, Brian, Brian no, no está. Ah, ya vino. Ok. Aquí está Brian. Regresó. Ok, so guys, I'm going to stay with Brian, ok. See you tomorrow. No, en serio. Mire, ni siquiera mi nombre aparece. No sé qué Ajá. le pasa a, la, a esta. Ah, ok. Pero qué bueno, estaba preguntando por usted, Brian. Pero, ok. Es que se Someone... oye borroso, Brian. Se escucha, se escucha borroso. Como cortado. <laughs> ok, everyone. Have a good night. Rest a lot. Descansen. Good night. Thank you. Good, good night. night. Good Blessing. night. See you bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Bye, Elena. Sweet dreams. Okay, hold on. Okay, Brian, le voy a cambiar su nombre. Okay. Es que no sé qué, le, qué me pasa porque cuando está mal el internet, pero esta es primera vez que me pasa. No sé por qué se borró mi nombre. Porque sí. cuando estaba dándole registrar, iniciar, uh -huh. me aparece, no, no, si no soy robot, y le doy, pero se tarda y me volvió a reiniciar como cinco veces ah, hasta uh -huh. que pude. Sí, y yo antes, cuando no estaba, estaba a decir Brian, Brian y todos, ¿no? No está. Y yo, ah, bueno, qué raro, se acaba de ir. Y ya preguntar iba entonces, pero cabal a tiempo. Regresó. Sorry. No problem. So, Brian, tell me, how could I help you? How mm. could I help you? Con el problema que tenía ahora que le dije. I don't remember, Brian, sorry. ¿Cuál de todos? <laughs> Which Creo que problem? Que le dije. Ajá, de, de, de unos ejercicios. Ah, el que me envió por mensajes. Sí. De que no le, da, no le salía bien. Ok, como, no, no salía como bien. que viéramos un poco más el would be, sería. Could be, ajá. Es que es, esa clase es. no lo vi porque... Fue la semana que estuve enfermo, se enfermó la familia. Sí, verdad, la primera semana me recuerdo que me escribió que, que no se iba a poder, o sea, sí se conectó algunos días, pero que no estaba tan, tan ahí. Uh -huh. Ok. Por la vacuna. Ah, sí, ajá, ya me acordé. Sí, es que la primera semana todavía me estaba como, como familiarizando con sus nombres, con ustedes, pero ya ahora sí ya siento que ya me los puedo más. Así que es cierto, ya me acordé que, que me escribió por lo de la, de la vacuna. Ok, yes. Brian. So, would be. Would be is, it's a phrase that you use for future events. Would be es algo que usted puede utilizar cuando quiere hablar de posibilidades de algo a futuro. De como algo que usted piensa que, que puede pasar a futuro. Y luego de would be, si usted nota, va a ir un, se llama un adjective. Mm. Eso es lo que tiene que colocar luego de él. Esa es la, la regla, entonces. Ajá, esa sería como la regla, ¿verdad? Que llevaría un adjective. Si yo le digo adjectives, ¿podría decirme algunos, Brian? Algunos adjectives que usted se recuerde. Un adjective es algo que describe, ¿verdad? A una persona... Mm -hmm a una cosa. No. No se recuerda ahorita. No. Ok. Por ejemplo, good es un adjective. Great 
big excellent son adjectives o por ejemplo long todas esas palabras que describen algo por ejemplo este es un, a bottle of water pero si quiero describirla puedo usar adjectives big for example a big bottle of water or a plastic bottle of water entonces los adjectives son como algo que le van a describir más algo. Entonces, lo okay. que vamos a hacer acá, Brian, es como describir cómo le pinta o cómo, cómo suena la idea a futuro. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, ok, Brian, let's go to the beach on Sunday. Let's go to the beach on Sunday. Yo le doy este comment. Esto es algo a futuro, ¿verdad? Porque todavía no estamos en Sunday. Vamos en Thursday. Entonces, usted uh -huh. va a darme un comentario con would be. Solo que, bueno, no sé si se recuerda, Brian, que cuando habla de acciones, por ejemplo, ir a la playa, no sería go to the beach. Hay que ponerle ing. Entonces sería como mm, going to the beach. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, me acuerdo de eso. Would be, y ya usted dice cómo, cómo le parece. Would be an excellent idea as an example. Entonces, en la primera parte, por decirlo así, ponemos la la acción de lo que estamos hablando. En este caso estamos hablando de ir a la playa, going to the beach. Okay. Y en okay. la última parte iría, pues, el complemento de esa idea. Would be iría como en medio, por decirlo así. Would be. Ajá. Le, por mm. ejemplo, otro comment. Um, y puede ir una preposición en medio del would be. Be... Uh, yes, yes, I'm thinking about something in this moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, podría ser un poco más compleja, pero podría llevar una preposición luego de su, del would be. O sea, would be would. se puede utilizar de muchas maneras, pero yo trato de irles diciendo como poco a poco, ¿verdad? Porque si no los puedo confundir mucho, mm -hmm. pero sí, it could be positive. Okay. okay, so digamos esto. Um, there is a job position open in Canada. So imagine this situation. There is a new job position open in Canada, and you are a candidate. Entonces se le presenta esta situación, Brian, para trabajar o para poder aplicar en in Canada. Entonces, ¿qué cree que pudiera decir utilizando would be? Mm, yo podría decir, I like. Would be, Brian, es como que usted dijera sería. Eso es lo sería. que usted está diciendo cuando utilizas eh, would be. Entonces sería, pero el qué. Entonces hay que poner un, una entrada para esa idea. Tendría que ser la acción de la idea. Uh -huh. Como vivir en Canadá, trabajar allá. O sea, tiene que haber algo que comience y luego dice sería, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo sería? Sería would be. Ajá, y pone would be con un adjective. Como que sería, como uno dice, ¿verdad? Súper chivo. Uh, would big, be a excellent. Big a big opportunity también. Pero, ¿qué va a poner al principio? Would be. Pero antes de would be. Hay que poner un sujeto. Uh, ¿Sujeto o acción? 
una acción. La acción puede ser tomada como un sujeto. Es que es, o sea, el sujeto se refiere a que yo le diga ay. No, porque, o, o bueno, no sé si quisiera decir algo así como que yo sería feliz uh, de ir allá. Si fuera así, sí, puede utilizar ay. Y usted comienza Pero, con ay. Esto sería. I would be happy. Y pone aquí el que lo haría happy. To work in Canada podría ser otra opción, porque como le menciono, hay diferentes maneras de, de utilizarlo. Pero si usted quiere decir como trabajar en Canadá sería Eso estaba fenomenal, pensando. entonces sí sería un verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería work, pero como es su sujeto, hay que ponerle ing. Working. Uh -huh. Working in Canada would be, y usted ya describe cómo, ¿verdad? Excelente. Pero el, el, el working es como, es, es una acción que todavía no, no, no estoy haciendo, es una suposición. Es que, es que working, en, ajá, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, y es el, como que. Y en el G se utiliza cuando son actividades que vamos a hacer. O algo uh -huh. así, no. El ING. El ING de ING. Verbo. No, ese se utiliza en diferentes, es variado. En español uno lo utiliza para acciones en progreso, pero en inglés a veces solo es una regla. O sea, aquí solo estoy usándolo porque tengo que usarlo por una regla pero no porque esté en progreso la acción o porque ya lo estoy haciendo. Es solo una regla que yo tengo que poner. Entonces, no es porque es el, el, el presente. ¿Mm? Perfecto. Creo que en el presente perfecto se, se utiliza el ING, ¿verdad? No, ahí se utiliza el participio. En el pasado Ajá. continuo se utiliza pasado ING. Pasado continuo, es verdad. Uh -huh. ING. Sí, uh -huh. en ese sí se utiliza ese. Porque aquí okay. si usted lo tradujera, si usted quisiera hacer eso, ahí dice trabajar en Canadá. No dice uh -huh. trabajando uh -huh. o trabajaré, sino que es uh -huh. trabajar. Okay. Y ya, okay, ya, ya. lo tendría. Uh -huh. Ya quedaría working in Canada would be great. Or would a be a great entonces. opportunity. Uh -huh. Okay. Si quiere, trate y, y si no, cualquier cosa y me las manda en el, en el grupo o en, en un mensaje personal y yo ahí las leo. Algunas oraciones ah, bien, utilizando bien. would be. Ok, Brian. Claro. So, in that case, we will stop here. Creo que nos vamos a quedar acá. Y cualquier cosa, pues ahí me avisa y hacemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Para explicarle. Está bien, gracias entonces. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.